Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will review a very interesting product. This is a regular pen, but also works as a stylus. Look at this. I have Scribo ink pen and I am going to write on a paper guys and everything I write will appear on the paper and on the computer screen. Okay, I'm going to try now. Yep, isn't that cool? I think it is. Let's get started. Huion Scribo PW310 is an ink pen and also a stylus. And you can use this pen guys with a compatible Huion device. You can put a paper on top of it or without the paper. Please check the comment section to see compatible Huion devices. The thing makes this pen so special is it lets you teach online with a real pen and a real paper. Everything you write, you draw on paper, registers on your computer screen digitally. So you can see what you are writing, you can see what you are drawing, plus you will get a real paper pen feeling. So these are the reasons guys I am reviewing this beautiful pen. Okay, let's begin with a quick unboxing as usual. This is the box. It's a nice looking small pen box. And here's the pen. It's a battery free pen with a cap. It looks like a regular ballpoint pen. And of course, it doesn't have side buttons. Unlike graphics tablet stylus, Scribo PW310 has a regular pen size, regular pen feeling. It feels good. And we have a small packet here. Inside this, there are two nib alternatives. This one with the plastic nib is for graphics tablets. Um, it makes the pen a stylus. And the other one is a gel pen. And there's a nib remover here. Finally, we have a little manual here. That's it. Let's check this out. Step one, you need a compatible Huion tablet. I have here with me an Inspire dial and I'm gonna use this one. No driver is needed for the pen, just use it with your tablet. Step two, place your paper on top of the graphics tablet. The important thing is you need to fix it, it shouldn't move. Um, you can tape the paper or you can use paper clips or binder clips to do that. I'm going to label the active area and write inside that area. Step 3. Start writing. I am writing with a ballpoint right now and writing on a paper definitely feels better than writing on graphics tablets. Plus, you can see what you are writing. Actually, I personally don't need to see what I write here on the tablet because, you know, I got used to it. I'm using it since 2016. But if you want, if you need to see what you are writing, you can try this out. It's a cool technology. You can choose different colors and write, and of course, the color is always black on the paper. If you do a mistake and want to erase it, you can choose the eraser tool and do erase, but it will create a mess on the paper. I wish there was an original eraser and works just like the pen. You know, it, it would be really great, like it erases here on the paper and on the screen. Yeah, it would be dope. Anyways, um, let me start graphing. It's good. Writing, drawing feels good. I always like writing on a paper. And um, yeah, now I want to test the other nib, gel pen. Let me get the nib remover. Now let's grab the nib, pull it out and place this one. Nibs have little plastic covers at the tip guys. You need to remove those before you use. It looks similar, but I think this is a little bit thicker. Now I'm going to try attaching more paper and let's see if it detects. Um, let's put 10 papers here. Oh, it works. Let me put like 25, 30 more. And it is still working. What about a notebook? It's hard to fix this one, but it is still working. Great. Um, let's try drawing some shapes. Okay, now I will try a hard cover notebook, a diary here. Um, yeah, it doesn't work this time. So you can place a single paper, multiple papers, your notebook or your sketchbook, but not a hard cover notebook, not a diary. Um, finally, I am going to try this um, stylus nib here. Um, yes, it works. This is a pen size stylus and it works great. Um, I cannot say it's better or worse, but it works. It is smaller and thinner than the original stylus. 
um, it's good, but it doesn't have side buttons. I use them a lot, so it's a kind of 50-50, you know. Okay, this is an interesting experience, guys. Um, I know some people hate using graphics tablets because they cannot see what they're writing, right? And also, I know some people, they don't like graphics tablets because they make strange noise. Thanks God I'm not in any of those groups, but if you are in, use this pen. It's a good technology specifically designed for you. You can see what you are teaching, plus you will get a classic, real paper pen feeling. The only problem, the only downside I experience here guys, um, finding the right size paper and fixing the paper on top of the tablet. So you can use um, paper clips or binder clips or um, tapes to do that. But I believe it will be better if Huion sold the right size paper with this pen, right? It would be great. And they could also sell some plastic clips to attach uh, the paper on top of this tablet. Anyways, you have to find a way to do that. I like the pen. And as always, I put the Amazon links in the description below. You can check the prices if you need. Okay, that's it for today. I'll be with you in another video about online teaching. If you have any questions, guys, comment below and let me know. Keep watching Mathematics. Goodbye.